Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Cat Cafe Manager, where last time we got up to Friendship Level 5 with both Carla, Lala and Finley, which was wonderful, and now the plan is to become the very bestest of friends with our good old pal Bonner, and I think we're pretty much there with him. I think in the next day or so we shall get up to Level 5 with Bonner as well, so that'll be quite nice. We're also getting very close to completing the entire research tree. I don't think we've got that much left. We're going for more Cats 3 right now now so we can have a couple more cats which is very nice and you know cat cafe i think the more cats we have the better and then after that i think we've got some decor options that we're not really interested in and then some more food and drink options and that's going to be it that will be our kind of you know, research tree cat shrine all completed and who knows what happens when that's done i do not know at all however right now we do need to go on to the next day because you know it's getting a little bit late so i think tomorrow We'll get the vagabonds in so we can get some more fabric for some more comfy chairs and we need the witches back in to give us some more nectar so we can buy a lot more stuff to actually make all the food and drink we need to serve. So I think that's okay. So yes, please confirm that. Skip to the morning. Yet yeah, we got a D because it's done that weird thing again, but okie doke. And I think, I don't think we'll get there today with more Cats 3, but I think maybe tomorrow we might get there. And look at that. It's 7.30 in the morning and the phone is ready. My goodness me. Um, okay, here we go. Let's give Bonner a call. I think it's slightly higher than that. I think this isn't quite showing how much the friendship meter really is because I think it was, it's kind of almost at the end. It might be today, it might be tomorrow that Bonner becomes a level five friend, but I think that's not quite right. But okay, we'll give Bonner a call. Look at that. It's up to there. Look, it's a lot higher. Ah, yes, I'm ready for a story. Coming right up. Absolutely, Bonner. You pop over. You're always welcome and you know you are. Um, is everything looking okay? Is everything looking okay? Everything is working. Nothing is broken. Everything is clean. Right. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Uh, let's go. Oh, hang on. Let's do some work. Hello. Let me serve you a chocolate sundae. I think we've got two people serving you a chocolate sundae. Let's go say hi to the cats as well. Oh, hang on a minute. The cats are... Okay, the cats are all out. Oh, the cats are in demand. Of course they are, because you know, people are coming in to see the cats. Uh, maybe I'll help out over here. I'll help out and prepare some water or such. Like, oh, what was that? Is that Zoe? Why was Zoe complaining about having no feet or something? What was going on there? Not entirely sure what the problem was there. Hang on, let me prepare a, a pretzel or whatever it was. And there he is. And friendship level five. Splendid stuff. Oh, Bonner, it's wonderful. I mean, you're the person, really, that we've known the longest. I mean, not by much, by a matter of probably a day or so, but still, you know, you're our longest sort of, you know, longest standing friend here, which is very nice. So there we go, level five. So Bonner says, ha ha ha, penja wee little thing, come here for a big bad Bonner hug. Oh, okay, it's fine, let's go for a hug. Bonner holds you close. Why does the big bad hug feel so good? Ah, oh, we're having a lovely hug. Remember a while back, I got in a row with Gavin. Well, you made me realise I ought to hear him out. Okay, yes, absolutely. He'd been worried for me for a while, actually. Just been scared. I'd take it the wrong way. I suppose I proved him right, eh? Getting older can be a scary thing, Penge. I can't feel like I keep feeling like I'm losing things. People leave. Experiences pass. And now I'm starting to lose some of my memories to boot. Oh, Bonner. But over my long life, I've gained lots too. My beautiful Gavin, for instance. And Catterwall, your gran. And you too. Can't do nothing to stop my body from aging, but I can try not to lose sight of what I gained. You helped me realise that, Penge. Oh, Bono, come on, let's have another hug. Uh, what will happen to you now? That might have been your best story yet. Absolutely. Let's not kind of make him dwell on what's coming up. Let's just sort of, you know, remark that that was a really nice thing to say. That was wonderful. Heh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Don't go retelling that one now, will you? That story is just for you. I went to the hospital with Gavin. Swear he's more scared than me. Man was shaking like an Adam's apple struggling against a turtleneck. <laughs> That's a lovely turn of phrase. I'm okay for right now. Just a little hazy at times. But we've been told to keep an eye out for it. Good thing I've always got Gavin four eyes. Ha <laughs> ha. Doctor said I ought to take a few shifts at work. It'll be hard, but I don't want to endanger the folks I ferry. You best believe I'll spend that free time here. Your other customers will be begging me to leave. That didn't sound as good as I thought it would. No, it's fine. You're absolutely welcome. Seeing totally possible now, I still can't believe it all started out as some empty field I met you at. Indeed, and you gave us some materials and a couple of mouldy old chairs you found. You made Catterwall a better place, Penge. Thank you for helping me take uh, take my mind off me troubles. With cats, I uh, need to get going, Penge. Not, uh, not to have a happy little cry in Gavin's teeny tiny chest or anything. Nothing of the sort. 
Ah, he's all happy. And we've got another slightly bizarre kind of cat law thing. So now we've got the stray law. It's a, a blessed one. Okay. So um, it glows faintly. Right. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, when we... um. When we, oh, hang on. And of course, yes, right. So yeah, the fisher folk have leveled up. So we get more fish from them, but they have increased demands. Okay, right. That makes perfect sense. And I think if Bonner is still here, I imagine he still is. There he is. There he is. Hang on. Can we do this quick? So normally Bonner is in the shop, isn't he? He's in the market. So we go to the market and there is Bonner. But if we go to the market while he's at the cafe, um, oh, Oh, I, I was going to say, the, the other chap he appears, and I assume that's Gavin, but no, Bonner's got back very quickly. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Bonner. How are you? We were hoping to have a look at Gavin there, just to kind of go, that's quite nice, but um, but no, it's you. Hello, how are you? I swear you're still just there. You're just there. <laughs> you're a man of much resource, uh, very resourceful means, but there you go. Uh, right, let's go, and, um, let's go and fix. Oh, no, hang on. Yeah, the stove's broken. Let's go and fix the stove. Um, oh. We did that remarkably quickly. Wow. Okay, right. Normally it takes ages to fix things. Like the um, the milkshake maker thing there. That takes ages to fix. But no, it seems that we're okay. Not there. That's the milkshake maker. That thing's a blender of some description. But that takes a long time to fix. But we just did that thing there very quickly indeed. Okay. That's wonderful. Right, so all the new food things coming in. We've got omelettes and everything else coming in. Hang on. You see, the omelette has many stages as well. You have to get out of the fridge, then do some sort of blending, then go and cook it. There are many stages to make the omelette. And it does make sense that we kind of handle it back there, you know, because we can do that quite quickly. Um, but also, we are quite good at talking to people. We're quite good at doing the chatting. So hang on, let's go and chat to some of the regulars as well. Here we go. Hello. How are you? Nice to see you. I noticed that toilet does need a little bit of a clean. How is the other one doing? Oh, the other one needs a clean as well. Hang on, hang on. We need to clean the loos and then we'll go and wash our hands. Promise. Right. So let's get that sorted. Let's take your order. Let's take your order. Ah, right. You can't have whatever that is. A bowl of soup, possibly, or stew or something like that. Do a spot of cleaning. Take your order. Take. Oh, no. Serve your thing. Let's serve you a chocolate sundae. Very nice. Good choice. Very good. Right, and then come down here. Have a chat with you. Right, this is all fine. This is all fine. We've got, what, about another hour? An hour just about until we should. But it's looking very busy. Oh, hang on. The cats are going to be slightly hungry. I need some more cat food going on. Hang on a minute. Many, many demands here. Let's have a chat with you. Very quick. Yes, splendid. Um, can we have a chat with you before the thing finishes? Yes, just. Okay, right, so... We're up to 960 delight out of the 1400 we need. We might possibly get there tomorrow. It's going to be touch and go, I think, but that's okay. Right, is everything looking okay here? Yes, it is. Don't need to clean anything. All the cat food bowls are nice and full. That is splendid. Nothing needs repairing. Um, okay, right, so let's go to town and let's get, let's get some more comfy chairs. Let's get some more of the comfier chairs on that side. So let's go to town go to the furniture place um and yeah let's pick up some more of the lovely the gracious chairs because i think yeah the elegant chairs give comfort six but the gracious chairs give a comfort of 10 which is very nice and it says at the bottom there already two in your cafe duplicate props provide no cafe stats but i think if we go and have a look at decorate there isn't a kind of a comfort there isn't a comfort stat i think you know that chair is that comfortable to sit on so that chair has a comfort of six and that chair has a comfort of 10. So I think that's how it works. So I think, yeah, we can have duplicates of the comfier chairs because if somebody sits on the comfier chair, it's going to be a nicer experience. So yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Right. So go to furniture, go to here. How much have we got? 575 fabrics. So we can get another couple of these, I think. So we can buy two more gracious chairs, which is very nice. Um, and then... We might need to go and uh, see Bonner. Okay, right, we've got 536 nectar. We do need to stock up on a few things by the look of it. Cherries is looking a little bit low. Coffee beans, oh my goodness, we've got to stock up on that. Eggs, because the omelettes do seem to be quite popular. Lettuce, we go through a lot of lettuce. Let's grab some ice cream whilst we're there. Um, grab some ham, possibly. Oh, strawberries are looking low as well, though. Strawberries are looking low on 10. Milk is looking low. Oh, dear me. Okay, hang on. Get milk. Get strawberries. I think that's it. We'll get some get some herbs. 
And now we have hardly anything left. Okay, wonderful. Right, let's pop back to decorate mode. Um, so let's pick up that chair and we'll, do you know what? We'll sell that because we don't need it. So we might as well just sell it and then put down the lovely comfy chair. Um, and then um, we'll get rid of, hang on, we'll get rid of that one. Away with you, sell that and put in the slightly more glamorous chair. Okay, wonderful. So things have become a little bit more comfortable. We're not, you know, getting all the chairs done, but it's a little bit more comfy around here. Um, okay, that is very good. I still think that we need to bring the witches in. We need to bring the witches back in. Possibly again, we just have a witchy day. Just have a witchy day. Just get them in and just see how they feel about things because we do need all the nectar so we can get all the new recipes and all the ingredients and everything else. Um, yeah, okay, we shall confirm that for now. Um, can we do some level up stuff? Yes, we can. Okay, we can get Karis and Penge leveled up. Wonderful. Right, so level you up and you can have a point of cooking and we shall level Penge, manager Penge, and you can have a point of repairs because, I don't know, is it worth having a point of repairs? Uh, maybe a point of cat care. That wouldn't go amiss, I don't think. There we go. And have we got enough to level up a cat? No, we have not. Okay, right. I think we're okay. Oh, is that going to stick on the screen now? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we might have a slightly weird kind of message appearing on the screen. Right, how happy are people? So the vagabonds are very happy. Um, the vagabonds are like rugs and coziness. Um, however, the vagabonds didn't like the lack of books. Okay, that's fine. And the witches were slightly happier, or that witch was. Um, still not much in the way of plants and not much in the way of magical aura. But they were very happy with the toilets and the rugs and the food and everything else. Right, so plants and then magical aura. I mean, it's very difficult to find things with a magical aura. You're all witches. You can bring that stuff in very easily. But, you know, I just work in a cafe full of cats. It's not like I have a magic broomstick or a magic potion factory out the back. Um, yeah, that's that's going to get in the way a bit, isn't it? Hang on, can we just <laughs> can we confirm that and make that go away? Um, hang on, can we? Hang on, I'm going to try and make this go away. It might require saving the game and reloading it, but that's just going to get in the way, isn't it? <laughs> that's just that's going to be very irritating if that message stays there. Um, let me see if I can make it vanish. And there we go, the message has gone. I had to reload the game and everything, but that's okay. So there we go. That makes things a little bit tidier on the screen. Um, right, okay, so now. When the phone becomes available, is it Matteo that we're calling next? I think it might be Matteo, possibly. I can't quite recall. I'm fairly sure that um, the chappy with the amazing hair um, is at the bottom of the list. So yeah, I think it is Matteo that we get to call next when the phone is available. But that's okay. That's fine. It's not available right now. I mean, yeah, yesterday it was available really early and today it's going to be available past lunchtime. Oh, hang on. A little bit of cleaning to sort out. Let's go and talk to you. So, right, now we can call a regular. Okay, so let's go down here and let's have a quick chat with you. So there we go. And, uh, yeah, it's Mateo. And, again, we're not quite sure how accurate that meter is. So, I think if we have a look... Um, no, that did seem about right, actually. So, yeah, it's a little way to go with him. I think it's going to be another, what, three or four trips in. But that's fine. There we go. He's calling us Friendo again, which is a bit weird. So there we go. Clearing up my schedule for you, Friendo. See you soon. Yes, Friendo. We will see you in a bit. Now, how near are we? We need about another 400 delight to get more Cats 3 sorted. And then we can start making use of these weird sort of cat law things that we've been given by everybody. Because they're not regular things. They're slightly obscure looking things. So, um, so yeah, we'll see what they do when this uh, next bit of sort of researchy stuff is unlocked. But yeah, I think, I think we can get there today. I think we can get there today. If we just keep everything ticking over nicely and just make sure that everybody gets everything they like, I think we'll get there. I mean, look at that. We're on 1,039 already. So yeah, it's ticking up very nicely. So let's just keep going. Hello, we're taking your orders. Where's Mateo? There he is. He's over there. He's hiding behind some flowers. He is having a coffee, which seems very apt for him. There you go. Um, right, so let's see what he says when he actually pipes up and starts talking to us. Okay, it seems that Matteo has gone mad. He's finally lost his mind. So he's saying, Siri, boba tea, boba tea, burgundy blazers, boba tea. I don't know what that is. Is that some sort of shopping list or a weird chant or something? I don't know what you're doing, Matteo, but okay. Uh, don't mind me, Penge. Just trying to get better targeted ads. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
I see what you're doing. You're just saying words. So then the AI picks up what you're talking about. Okay. Okay, right. That makes a little bit more sense. That was very odd. That was very odd without context. I thought he'd lost his mind. Uh, okay, right. Wonderful. Let's go and work on that whilst we go by because you know, it's tea. We'll make you some tea. Absolutely, we will. How are the um, litter trays doing? They're doing absolutely fine. We haven't cleaned them yet so far. Um, oh, look at that. We fell just short. That's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Okay, so we'll get that sorted tomorrow. That's all okay. And um, we have got a lot of nectar. Again, I think we bring the witches back in. I think they just come straight back in. Um, so let's just pop into town very quickly. Let's pick up one of these. Oh my goodness. I mean, look at the amount of nectar it takes to unlock a new thing now. Um, let's get the cheapest one. Um, so, I mean, I'm a bit, I'm a bit hesitant to get biscuits and gravy because that, that's not, they're not biscuits. And we've been through this before on the channel. They're not biscuits. And biscuits are things you can dunk in your tea. You wouldn't pour, you wouldn't like get a custard cream and put gravy on it because that would just be all sorts of bizarre. Um, so we're going to go for the sashimi recipe. Um, okay, so it says, yeah, not for the cats. Okay, just a little. So we need a fridge, which we have, a cutting board, which we have, and cooking skill of 12. And it needs fresh fish and rice. So I think the only thing we're going to need to get is rice for that. So that's okay. So if we stock up on one lot of rice for now, that should be okay. Uh, and then we have got quite a lot of neck now. So grab some tomatoes and grab ice cream and ham. We can stock up here a little bit. Get two, in fact, do you know what? Get three lots of bread. Get some more lettuce, because we do go through that a lot. Um, and then get some cheese and some more coffee. There we go. So we're down to 28 nectar. We just burned through that very, very quickly. But okay, right, that's fine. And yeah, I think, well, hang on, hang on. We can do level ups. One of the cats can level up. Which cat needs to go? So Brian the cat. Here we go, Brian the cat. Let's level you up. And you can become very popular. I mean, maybe with the witches because they keep coming in and they give us the lovely nectar so we can actually buy food and drink. So yeah, you become really popular with them. And we can do another staff level up. Um, let's go down to Zoe. So Zoe, you can become even better at cooking. Well done. That's very impressive. And that's it, I think. We've got three training. Oh, hang on. No, it costs three. Okay, Zach. Uh, Zach can become better at serving. There you go, Zach. Wonderful. So a little bit of staff improvement as well. Yeah, we offer on-site training. That's quite good, I think, in our cafe. Uh, right. Okay. Skip to the morning. Uh, only 59% happiness there. That's not very good at all. So the cats they really liked. But yeah, there's a magic aura they didn't like. And then comfort was naught out of 11. Zero out of 11. What? What? Hang on. What's everybody sitting on? Why is comfort zero out of 11? I don't understand why comfort is so low. What was, um, what was Mateo's? 10 out of 11. Your comfort was 15 out of 11. Okay, I'm a little bit confused. What, were they sitting on the floor or something? I don't really know. Um, yeah, we do need some more plants and we need some more magic aura. But um, okay, right. We'll look at the... Hang on, what can we get that's got magic aura? <laughs> Is there anything we can get? Some retro art. Um, okay, hang on. So nothing there gives us magic aura. Nothing there gives us magic aura. There's some uh, things in here. Do they give us magic aura? There's books, which is quite good. Because the um, the Vagabonds do like books. The thing they're giving us magical auras. This is all just about coziness and comfort and such like. Nothing in there giving us magical auras. And nothing here giving us magic. Oh no, hang on. A witch's stove would give us magical aura. Maybe we do need to do some of the, um, the furniture unlocking stuff to get some special things in here that give us magical aura. Maybe that is what we need to do. Okay, well, that's fine. Hang on, the stove is broken down again. Let's go and fix the hips to stove. There we go. Wonderful. Um, right, so another day comes round. We shall get Mateo back in for another chat. Again, I don't think we'll go up to uh, the next friendship level today. I think it might be tomorrow by the time that happens. But that's okay. We'll bring him back in and he can reel off a load of sort of gibberish at us again. And we can just be confused by whatever is whiffling on about. And there we go. The litter boxes do now need cleaning out a bit. That's fine. Hang on a second. We'll go and chat to people as we go. I kind of like to think that maybe we keep some sort of, you know, antibacterial hand wash with us. 
if we're not going to wash our hands in the sink or something. So yeah, we go and clean out the litter box and then on the way we you know, have a chat with somebody whilst we're anti-backing our hands. Otherwise that's a little bit grim, isn't it? So hang on a second. We are en route litter box. Hang on a second. We'll come in a sec. Right, we can call a regular. For some reason taking that order took forever, but I'm not quite sure what happened. But hang on, we'll have a chat with you. How are the actual toilets looking for the customers? And there we go. We've now got more cats, three unlocked, which is wonderful. Um, so I mean, yeah, maybe we need to get fantasy furniture so we can then start getting some more magical stuff going on. Oh, look, look, they've changed. That's changed appearance. It's now looking a little bit more like a cat and that one as well. Okay, let's get American Diner Furniture 2 just to complete that. And then we'll get that one and that one sorted. That's 1,400 crikeys um okay and we can call a regular and i think as well yes we can put the um the fancy new law thing down which one do we want to use though i do not know right let's call mateo yep absolutely friendo uh, right so let's put one of these down so we can put the strange doll a meteorite or some blessed stuff whatever it is i don't know a blessed law let's put a meteorite down let's pop a meteorite into there that's very odd that is very bizarre. So we just took a bit of rock in there. Are we going to get some sort of space cat coming in? I do not know. We'll find out in a bit, I suppose. Um, and yeah, let's just keep things ticking over. Make sure Mateo gets the thing that he wants. He's all happy. And there we go. We do now need to clean the loos as well. And there's some tea to be made. Hang on a minute. I'm preparing the tea. Please hold. Oh, there's some, um, there's some unpleasantness just there. Hang on. One of the cats, uh, obviously not quite making it to the litter tray. Ah, and here we go. So there's a cat. Okay, right. Let's win the trust of this slightly bizarre looking cat. I think it might actually be a space cat with a really weird mouth. Um, this is CT. Okay, so CT C uh, literally is a space cat. Out of this world, resources just keep materializing in your cafe. Every time a customer leaves, gain 10 of all resources. Can we have you coming back, please? Uh, yes, we shall pay it to you. How much are we going to get? Oh, hardly anything. Oh, that's all very sad. Okay, right. We'll try and work on that. That's exciting, though. Hang on. Why are the cats making such a mess? The litter boxes are all fine, aren't they? Why are the cats making so much mess everywhere? Sorry, everybody. The cats seem to... Yeah, it must be, I don't know, the moon phase or something. But yeah, why are the cats not using the litter boxes? It's all fine. You've really channeled your core competency into your customer journey, Penge. That doesn't mean anything, but it's a compliment. I mean, again, you're coming in here and you're just speaking whiffle, but okay, it's fine. It's like management whiffle. Let's refill the cat food. Um, okay, do we have any kind of things that we need to clean up? Any other cat spillages? Doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. Okay, wonderful. Right, so now I think, hang on, we can level up another cat. Let's level up Missy the cat. Um, yeah, you can become better with the artist. And then we can level up a person. Two people, in fact. So, Ethan, you can have a point of serving. And Karis, you can have a point of serving. Nice all-rounders. Um, and then, yes, we all go to town. We'll go to the market. Okay, resources are actually looking pretty good. So, let's get the biscuits and gravy recipe. Somewhat reluctantly, I'm going to press the button boo game. Um, okay, so I don't know what we need for that. Um, I mean, there is a, there's blueberries there. We could just grab, there are 130. We could grab some of those and we could grab some flour. But I don't think we necessarily need those things. Um, so yeah, tomatoes maybe. Uh, get some milk, get some lettuce because we always need more of that. Um, that might be okay. Maybe let's grab a bit of bread and some more coffee beans because we do go through those a bit and we'll get some herbs as well and then we'll keep 144 behind because that means we can now get some more people in we don't have to have the witches in we could get the artists and the business people in i think that might be quite good so yeah if we don't have that so let's have you two coming in please so we're going to get lovely gems and lovely gold which is marvelous absolutely right okay so skip to the morning how was everybody yeah Again, Magicora certainly lacking. Comfort seems to be a bit better this time round. Yeah, I don't quite know why Comfort went a bit wobbly last time. Yeah, Magical Aura and Plants. I mean, if we get enough money, if we get enough gold and jewels, we could buy another planty thing. 
We could buy another plant, possibly, and put that in. But uh, yeah, OK, we'll see how we get on. And again, Mateo is going to be invited back. Oh, and hang on, the cat is back. The mysterious space cat has returned. OK, let's try to win your trust a little bit more. Now, one thought did occur to me. Um, yeah, look, it's gone. So the meteorite has vanished. So we might need to go and buy another one of those if we want to get the space cat to join the cafe. The only thing is, I bet they're fa fabulously expensive. Let's go over and have a look. So pet goods, meteorite is 510 fish. We do have that right now. So let's grab that for now because we're not doing much else with it. So right, and then we'll put... Oh, there's still a bit of meteorite in there. Oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, did we just waste a load of money on that? A load of fish. I thought the meteorite vanished. It must have been that portion that they ate rather than the entire thing. Right, and we'll call Mateo because we will get up to level five with Mateo, which will be very wonderful indeed. I'll be surprised if we don't. Um, yeah, I'll be very shocked. I think it's almost there. So there we go. Another level five friend. Very good. And then, yeah, we just keep things ticking over. Oh, my goodness me. Look at the amount of things we need to be preparing. Hang on a second. There's salads and lattes and, and whatever that is. Pancakes and all sorts of stuff. Right, hang on. I'm on it. I'm on it, folks. I'm doing kitcheny stuff. And we didn't quite make it up to friendship level five with Mateo. Look at that. There's a teeny tiny bit that needs to be filled in. But OK, that's fine. So tomorrow it is, Mateo. That's fine. I'm excited for Catawall's future, friend. Tourism, business, it'll be great. OK. I mean, are you in league with the, um, are you in league with the Hawkable people? Because we don't really like the Hawkable people. I don't know if you picked up on that. Right, hang on a second. Hang on. The cat is back. So we want to do this again. So here we go. Let's win the trust of CT the Space Cat. Um, okay, so yeah, look, it disappeared. So I assume the Laura gone, but right, we'll pet you. Okay, so pet, pet, pet. And right now it has gone, but we do have the replacement. So okay, grab the meter, I put it back in. And I think a couple more of those and we can get the new Space Cat to join us. That would be very good. And every time somebody leaves, we get 10 of every resource, which is just a bit daft, isn't it? Um, so yeah, if we have, I don't know, what, 20 people through, we're going to get 200 of each resource at the end of every day. That's fabulous. Um, right, so let's pick a new project because we have unlocked American Diner Furniture 2. Um, right, so yeah, Fantasy Furniture, a thousand delight. But that might mean that we can make the witches a little bit happier. Oh, hang on. I didn't quite serve your omelette. I kind of almost served it and then wandered off with it in my hands or something. Sorry. Uh, right, and then let's take your... Oh, no. Let's serve you an omelette as well that's magically teleported onto my delivery tray thing. I mean, yeah, you're all going to leave in a second anyway. And yeah, we're already 200 into the thousand we need for that. So again, we are doing very well in terms of unlocking everything. Um, everything looks fine. Everything looks pretty good. Right, staff, let's level up the boss. Um, you can have a point of cleaning just to make sure that everything is at least 10. That's fine. Um, and then Zoe, level you up. Um, you can have another point of cooking, Zoe. You can be really super efficient at cooking. Um, and then, what have we got? Could we get in? In fact, is it worth is it worth saving our resources until we've got Fantasy Furniture 1 unlocked? And then we can get in some magical stuff to make the witches a bit happier. I think that might be worth doing. Let's skip to the morning for now. So how did everybody else do? Right, so that business person was absolutely, utterly delighted with everything. They were very happy. Um, so yeah, 100% satisfaction. So they sat on a comfortable chair. It was roomy enough. The toilet was good. They ate their food and drank their drink and the cats were good. The artist, not quite so impressed. A lack of books. Okay. So a lack of books and a lack of cool. And that business person, very, very happy. Comfort possibly lacking. Ah, maybe they didn't get to sit on the comfy chair. Okay, so books and possibly flowers then might help. But that's fine. We'll save up again, I think. So, uh, yeah, let's get the business people and the artists back in. And we still do have a little bit of nectar left over just in case we do kind of run out of coffee or bread or whatever. We have got a little bit left over and we can always change things around in the middle of the day. We can always do that. So we could stop advertising for, you know, these two and change it to witches if we did get into a little bit of a resources pickle. And we shall call Mateo just to top up that teeny tiny little bit of friendship meter that we didn't quite cover last time. So, yep, absolutely, friendo, in you come. OK, CT, the space cat is back. Hello, CT. Right, let's pet you on the head. It's not going to be this time, but yeah, next time. Next time you will join us, CT, the space cat, and it shall be very exciting. I didn't realise there's quite a lot of litter outside. 
Sorry, everybody, that's not very good, is it? Although, to be fair, it's not us dropping the litter outside. It must be somebody else chucking it around, because we don't go outside. All our stuff happens in here. So I don't quite know who's making a mess outside. If they could not do that, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Right, okay, so Mateo is in, and we're going to see what happens to him. We're going to see kind of how his story finishes. It's going to be very intriguing, because I don't quite know what he's going to do. But yeah, he was thinking of joining Hawkable, wasn't he? And we kind of... Did we try and sort of, you know, talk... Not talk him round, I don't think, but we sort of went, oh, I don't know if you want to be doing that. So we'll see what he does. We shall see what he does. Hang on a minute. That needs cleaning. Let's not have a load of embarrassing cat puddles everywhere again. Because that doesn't look very good, does it? That doesn't look good at all. Hang on, let's give it a clean. And there we go. There we go. Bud, pal, friendo. I've experienced a bona fide revelation. Okay, let me guess. New hobby or enlighten me, oh sage. <laughs> We're going to go for that one. Enlighten me, oh sage. Like any revelation, it started with a really intense Wikipedia deep dive. Okay, I don't like where this is going, but okay. While well, mulling over our last deep convo, the one about being satisfied, I couldn't get my mind off the cats of Totally Pawsome. So I had Siri read me every cat-related Wikipedia page. Could you not have read it yourself? Like, I found out that for, Chris uh, for Christmas, Catalan kids feed and care for a wooden log. Wow, the more you know. Are you feeling okay, Mateo? You're coming out with all sorts of random stuff recently. <laughs> Do you need to lie down? Maybe a holiday. Um, other fact, cats are scientifically determined to be the most chill living organism, like, ever. Okay, ah, Factual info from Wikipedia, they inspire me so about that revelation. I mean, let's not take the mick out of him. He's obviously tried to do his research as best he could. He's gone to Wikipedia, and that's fine. Wikipedia is a lovely, good, valuable resource. Um, okay, they inspire me. Let's do that, because we do have a cat cafe. Um, yes, yeah, so the cats, they do inspire me. That's it. That's it, exactly. It explains a lot, actually. The point is, I've always assumed achievements would make me feel fulfilled and happy. When that was just wasn't the uh, when that just wasn't the case, I sort of maybe panicked a little bit. So I decided I'd do something to help Catawall. Oh well done! I figured if I could give Catawall just some of the amazing conveniences of the city, my work would have been worth it. Enter Hawkable. Okay, I was so set on what I thought I didn't have, maybe I kind of lost sight of what I did have. When I did the same for Catawall, and that's the thing about cats, isn't it? They just look happy with what they have, be it a nice toy or a little buddy. Except when it comes to food. That's a whole other story, yes. I think I could uh, take after their example. And yours too, honestly. So good luck, Mateo. We'll always be around to help. Oh yeah, we'll always be around to help. We shall offer to help him out a little bit more, because good luck, Mateo, just seems like we're trying to wash our hands of him. So yeah, yeah, good luck. We got friendship level five. Clear off now, bye-bye. Um, no, we'll be around to help. Ha-ha! I'll be visiting Totally Possum a lot more to learn from the kitties. And to see my bestest bird, Penge. Okay, yep, I like bestest bird more than friendo, to be honest. I'm going to see what I can do to help this community without changing what it is. Or who I am. Siri, turn yourself off. You've earned a break, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> right, and now we're going to get another weird... Okay. So now we've got some lubricant. Okay. The bottom says property of hawkable R&D. Right, so that's another cat law thing. But it's lubricant. That's very odd. Right, business people, and that's very handy because they're in right now. Um, they're going to give us even more lovely shiny gold, which is splendid. Uh, right, we were midway through cleaning a um, through cleaning a litter box. Let's go and sort out some of the stuff up here as well. Okay, so now, now it's just the punk guy. I can't remember his name. The punk guy with the um, with the tremendous hair. We just need to get up to friendship level five with him, and that's going to be it. That's going to be the lot. I mean, can you get up to friendship level six with them? I don't know. I kind of feel like level five is the sort of, you know, the conclusion of their story. I kind of feel like that's kind of their little sort of story arc ended. But do you know what? It's fine. We shall see. Maybe we'll get to that point. What's that there? Is that wine? Are you trying to order wine? I don't know if I've got a license for wine. <laughs> uh, latte requires milk. There we go. We did run out of something. Um, hang on a second. Hang on. Uh, yeah, we'll buy some milk, please. Do you know what? We'll buy two lots of milk. Why not? Because, yeah, we are going through it quite a Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> the two lots of milk we bought are going to have vanished very quickly. Oh, crikey. Right. Hang on. Hang on. I need to go and get a space cat on board because that's amazing. Right, here we go. And, yeah. Hello. There you go. I like the way your mouth moves. Right, let's pet you. And 
we're going to adopt you. We're going to adopt a space cat and we'll just call you CT because why not? That's what you've called yourself. Um, okay, we now have a new cat, a cat from space. Okay, so you're very good with the vagabonds and the artists. That's handy because they're in. Um, and yeah, every time a customer leaves, gain 10 of all resources. Uh, you have adopted every cat that is attracted to meteorite. To adopt more cats, buy different lore. Um, okay, no, we're going to. We're absolutely going to. We're going to put another one down. Um, I, I think I might put down the blessed one. The blessed lure. That sounds good. The strange doll looks a little bit kind of creepy. And lubricant. I mean, it's like, hang on, hang on, hang on, though. Hang on. So, if I had to predict, I'm not entirely sure we'll see this. Uh, the strange doll, will that bring some sort of slightly bizarre zombie looking cat? That's a blessed lure. So that's going to bring some sort of saintly cat, like a kind of a holy cat with a halo over its head or something. And the lubricant, is that going to bring in some sort of robotic cat? I mean, I'm very tempted to put that down because I do like the idea of a robo cat. Um, do you know what? I'm torn between the blessed one and the lubricant one. But if we can get a robotic cat, we're going to go for that. Let's put that in. I mean, it's a bit weird. <laughs> People are going to be looking at us thinking, what are you doing? Why, why have you put a can of like lubricant WD-40 stuff in your in your cat tray outside? What are you doing? Are you okay? But no, it's fine. It's fine. We're trying to attract robotic cats, maybe, possibly. Right, hang on a minute. I see that in the corner. Need sorting out. Uh, right. Okay, so we're coming up to the end of the day. We're looking very good to getting Fantasy Furniture 1 sorted out very soon. Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on, there are many jobs that need doing. Cleaning jobs, hang on a second. Right, splendid stuff. So now I think we might need to get the witches back in again. We might need to get the witches back in. Oh, look at it. We've got so many things already. We've got up to 198 fish. We've got lots of fabrics. Oh, hang on, hang on. How much is it to, how much is it to buy one of the lovely, one of the lovely chairs? 260, we can buy another gracious chair. Absolutely. Let's do that, please. Uh, let's get rid of you. We'll sell you and then we'll put down the gracious chair. Hooray! There we go. Uh, right, so here we have got 204 nectar as well. It might be worth investing in a few basics. So it's, yeah, cheese is looking a bit low. Cherry's a bit low. Oh, chocolate's very low. Um, we'll get some more herbs and that's kind of it. So I, I think, although we are getting 10 resources for every single person that comes in. I was thinking of getting the witches in, but I think maybe let's just get these two in again. Let's do what we've already done. Um, and yeah, what can we get in? Some plants. Get in some plants because they did want some plants. Hang on. Plants two. That's plants two and expensive to add, but we've already got that. We've already got one of those. We've already got one of those. A curly tree, a big hydrangea or a big calathea. Let's get in, I know, big hydrangea. Oh no, hang on, that's a that's a hipster thing. Let's get a big calathea in. I'm probably saying that wrong, but we'll get one of those. And could we get a rug? We've got a, a fluffy pink rug. There's a cool cat rug, which is a diner thing. There's a candle holder for coziness. A cake display for art. I quite like that. That's a very exciting. A lavish serving table for coziness. I've already got the lamp. The ornate clock for expensive. Oh, I quite like that. I do quite like that. A rad rocket rug. Oh, that sounds amazing. Let's get the ornate clock for the tea house side of things. We'll get a bit of that, I think. So art and expensive. Yeah, okay. We'll pick up a few of these things. Oh, my goodness me. How many resources have we got? <laughs> we can just keep buying things. Wow. Um, okay. Let's get a chalkboard menu because it makes sense to have a menu. Um... Right, we can keep buying things, can we? Um, let's pick up... I mean, what else do we want? There's there's so many things. A candle holder. Let's have a candle holder then, maybe. We'll just grab one of those, possibly? What's that? Coziness too, and we haven't got one already. Right, there we go. Right, and now we've got a load of, <laughs> a load of things to go and decorate. Um, and yeah, let's level up CT the cat. So CT become very popular with the artist. I want to get you some more skills. Um, okay, we can have one more cat, which is very good. We shall level up uh, Zach. There you go. You can become better at cooking. And we'll level up Ethan. And Ethan become better at serving. Wonderful. Right, now let's put these things down. So the chalkboard menu, I kind of feel like it should go on the outside. 
Hang on, so if we put that back in the inventory, so hang on, what does it do? Coziness. So coziness is currently seven. So if we pop that outside, yeah, it does work if it goes outside. That's fine. Um, a candle holder, an ornate clock, and a big planty thing. Okay, big planty thing could possibly go there. Drop it on the space cat. That's fine. The ornate clock. Okay, <laughs> kind of running out of room for these things. Um, okay, hang on, hang on. We do have 214 materials. I've had an idea. Why don't we just add some more stuff? Why don't we just go like that and add a little bit like that? We'll change the... Hang on, we need to change the walls a bit there as well, don't we? But there we go. Right, and then can we have the correct wall going in because we want it to look nice. Okay, wonderful. And then if we move... I go to decorate. If we pick that up and put that there, and then we can put the clock there... So you can see how long it takes you to go to the loo, possibly. No, I think that needs to go in the corner. There we go. Like that. And then the candlestick thing can go just there. Okay. Right. That is splendid stuff. How are we doing for this? Uh, we're okay for cat food. We're... Ooh. No, hang on. We're not okay for scratch poles. Okay, we might need to go and get another scratch pole, possibly. Um, cat litter as well. Okay, so we do need some more cat stuff going on. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think we'll get all of that stuff because we've got Space Cat giving us many resources. So um, yeah, let's go to tomorrow and let's just get these people back in and we'll just see how we do. But look at that. Look at those numbers just totting up. And it's a B. Do you know what? That's fine. We'll take a B and run with it. Okay, we can call a regular and it's time for Arwell to pop on over. And it doesn't look like we need to have that many trips from Arwell to get you up to friendship level five. So yes, please, you come in. This is very exciting because there's a new cat there. Yeah, sure, fine, whatever, I'm coming around. Um, hello, hello, new cat. How are you? And you are indeed a robo cat, as kind of predicted. Oh, this is wonderful. And you <laughs> you're even called robo cat. You're even called RoboCat. We knew it. We predicted this. RoboCat 9000. Because as everybody knows, if you put a very high number in the thousands after something, it makes it better. If you went to a shop and there was the Superfood Mixer 5 or the Superfood Mixer 8000, you're going to pick the Superfood Mixer 8000. Even though it's probably a significantly worse product, it's got a bigger number, which makes it better. So RoboCat 9000 is wonderful. Um, so what's your trait? Um, doesn't have any needs. Okay, bleep bloop, scratch my harsh metal frame meat bag. <laughs> okay, you have no needs at all. That's not quite as exciting as I thought it might be. But okay, that's fine, that's fine. I think we might have to get all the fancy special cats in because they're all adorable. Which does mean that we might have to start saying farewell to some of our other cats. Because we can only have so many of them, which is a bit of a shame. But you know what, that's fine. That's fine. We shall find them lovely forever homes. And uh, yeah, it shall be a wonderful thing. But uh, yeah, okay, for now, we're just going to have to make do with the uh, Space Cat. And then, um, yeah, working on RoboCat 9000, which is wonderful. And we're not too far off Fantasy Furniture 1 either, which is very good. And look, <laughs> just the numbers just ticking up. It is splendid, right? But yeah, we do need to remember that we need some more cat stuff. We need to get some more cat stuff in. Because, uh, yeah, we need to look after them, get some scratch posts and litter trays and all that kind of stuff. The milkshake machine is broken down. Tis a tragedy of epic proportion. Hang on. There we go. Just do the macarena at it. It's all done. Hang on. I'm working on the milkshake. Don't you worry. I'm over here in the kitchen doing kitchen -y stuff. Now I'm refilling cat food bowls. Is everything looking all right in terms of the cat stuff? And there we go. Fantasy Furniture 1 is done. So let's get Fantasy Furniture 2 sorted, please. That's a huge big project, 1,400. Ever notice how Finley completely ignores me? So nice of her. I think she really gets me, you know? <laughs> okay, so he likes being ignored because he's such a rebel, is our well. He's so rebellious. Oh, hang on. A bit of a uh, cat weirdle on the floor there. Let's give you a pet. Hello, cat. Uh, right, and take your order. Pancake requires eggs. Oh, crikey. Hang on a minute. Hang on, let me run to the shop. Um, eggs are prohibitively expensive, but okay, that's fine. We might need to get the witches back in tomorrow just to do a bit of a uh, drastic restock of things, but I'm sure it'll be okay for now. We can muddle through with the free nectar we're getting from, um, from Space Cat. 
which is very handy. But uh, yeah, we might want to get the witches back in just so we can do a proper kind of, yeah, a big shop as it were. We can go and pick up lots of lovely things. And I think RoboCat 9000 is back. Hang on a minute. I'm just doing some work in the kitchen, RoboCat 9000. Hang on, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I've come to pet you on the head. Right. Here we go. Right, yep, absolutely. You have some of that, whatever it was, oily stuff. And then, yep, let's pet to you, which is lovely. We are going to need to get some more fish. We're going to need to get more fish. Wow, that bowl just emptied immediately the instant we filled it up. Oh, crikey. Um, because, because, yeah, we do need to get some more of the lures. We need to get another one of those lures. Because otherwise we're not going to be able to properly befriend RoboCat. And already about 500 of the way through to Fantasy Furniture. Uh, right, so let's level up Space Cat. So level you up again. And now we get a new trait. Radiant plus three to Artis or Thrifting. The cat knows all about getting the greatest deals. Minus 25% furniture cost. I'm not so bothered about that. Um, yeah, Radiant. Be really, really good with the Artis. You can be a massive, massive hit with them. Um, and you know what? We'll train you up again. And we'll train you up again. So you can have a couple of points. But put two point, no, put one point into Vagabonds and one point into the Artist. There we go. So you're a really, really popular cat with the Artist. Um, okay. Right. So now we've got quite a lot of things again. So I think, let's not have you lot coming in. Let's just have a very witch. Do we need witch? Witches and, and fishermen. Let's get the fisher folk in and the witches. Because I think that will be very good. Um, and then, yes, we do have a little bit of nectar. So we can go and do a tiny bit of restocking of things. Um, yeah, chocolate and eggs. Possibly get those two in. Um, get some tea leaves in. Possibly get some milk in. And then we're out of nectar. Okay, that's fine. And then over here in furniture, can we get some books? Can we get something which has books? There's a cool cat painting. That is lovely. But, um, yeah, what can we get that's got books in it? Um, hang on, let's have a quick look. There is a lovely Persian rug there. That's very nice. A once flying carpet. Oh, you've got, hang on, we've got magical things in. Of course we have. Hang on. Um, magical aura, strung up herbs or a, or a torch. Hang on. That actually gives magical aura. And the witches really want that. They're really expensive. Oh, my goodness me. Um, so let's pick up those. That's very exciting. And then go to pet goods um, because I haven't forgotten. Oh, no. What are we short of? We're ever so short of money. That's a bit of a shame. Um, however, we can get another litter box. We can get, look at that again, a litter box 5,000. Um, cat served for expensive two. Um, or that one or that. That serves five. That serves five cats. But I don't think we need that. But, I mean, it would help, wouldn't it? It would make sure the cats have got plenty of places to go. But that one serves four. It just gave us two expensive points. But we've already got two anyway. So it doesn't really make any difference. Uh, do you know what? We'll get the big one. Why not? We'll get a big litter box. A beauty, isn't she? Not a kind of remark I would sort of use for a, a litter box. But <laughs> I'm sure it's lovely. Uh, right, okay. And then strung up herbs can go can't put that oh they have to go on the wall okay so they have to hang on a wall um well let's put them i don't know where can we put them uh where's where's gonna be really not? hang on we can hang them kind of in the cupboard oh they've gone behind the cupboard oh no that no 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 that's not good enough. no no we need to put them somewhere at least visible to people um okay they can hang uh just there they can hang just there and then we'll move the cupboard back it's a bit weird uh, and then yes then we've got the big litter box so I think what we might need to do is go to build and just add maybe a little bit down that side and then get the proper nice yellow wall at the top and then move that over, move these over a bit, just have a little bit of a space like that. Oh, hang on, where's the stuff? We can we can move that to there, wonderful. Um, and then we'll have the other litter box over there, look. Splendid. So uh, cat litter, uh, they want 15, we're providing 17. Yeah, scratch poles and yeah, the scratch poles are okay. And toys, we're just about on the limit. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Right, so skip to the morning. It's going to be a very sort of fisher folk and witchy day coming up. Let's see how we did. 94%, 76%. So 94, they were really happy with everything except maybe books and possibly a, a toilet point. 
Uh, and then the R tiers, yeah, books. Books and cool. Okay, that's fine. But a B. Again, we'll run with that because a B is a good result. Okay, right, so here we go. Day 66. So let's wait for the phone to be available. And we shall call Chappie again, whose name I've forgotten, but he's got amazing hair. Ah, well, of course it's Ah, well. How do I keep forgetting your name, Ah, well? Now, I'm a little bit sceptical about whether we'll actually get up to level 5 with you right now. I don't think it's going to happen. I think we'll see the situation like we had with, um, I think it was with Mateo and was it Finley as well? We had a tiny, tiny bit to fill in, but go on, Arwell, come in. Sure, fine, whatevs. Um, but yeah, we'll bring him in and we'll just see whether we can maybe just get up to the uh, top friendship level with him. Because then that would be it. That would be it. That would be friendship level five with everybody. Right, hang on a minute. Robo cat, let's pet you on the head. There we go. Yeah, yeah, pet you. Splendid. You are adorable. I do like you. Um, and yeah, the law's gone. The law's gone. Okay, until we can afford that, let's put the blessed law in. And let's see what that does. Because I am intrigued as to what that's going to do. Are we going to get some sort of, like angel cat or something coming in because <laughs> that would be i mean that would be quite funny i do like the idea of that uh right okay let's just go back up to here and just keep helping out as best we can somebody having the sashimi very nice good choice and um yeah we just keep chatting to people and providing food and drink because you know cafe and everything that's kind of what we do Okay, it's been very busy, very busy, just been kind of working in the kitchen, but some stray cats have appeared looking for food, and, oh, it's over there, it's hiding behind that tree. Uh, oh, you look adorable, you look adorable, okay, so what's your thing, cat, oh, hang on, hang on, <laughs> cat Sith, hang on, aren't Sith's generally a bad thing, okay, um, one with nature, the shrine's energy seems to be radiating from this cat, every time you complete a task, Gain one delight. Okay, that is very good. Right, we shall pet to you. Um, again, it's going to take a while, I think, to get you on board, but that's okay. Um, oh, yeah, again, we're not quite up to level five with Arwell, but never mind. You must have all kinds of fancy food in the city, like shrimp or prawns or shrawns. Edible crustaceans. Who even invented that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Crazy, crazy stuff they have in the city there. Right, so, yeah, it's going to be tomorrow when we level up to friendship level five with him again it's taken a while having to put the um having to put the legwork into becoming good buddies with people but that's okay that's fine we can do that it's not too much of a problem and that is the end of the day right so we have got i mean yeah the uh space cat is wonderful space cat is bringing in so much good stuff right can we go and grab um maybe a scratch pole just before I forget, because otherwise I'm going to forget to do that. So can we get a nice scratch pole? Um, we can get a basic one for relaxation three. But it would be nice if we could just have some more of these. And however, we don't have a basic one by the look of it. We don't have a basic one. So it says there, yeah, already one in your cafe. Duplicate props provide no cafe stats. So we need to get that one in. So let's grab a basic one that will work that's okay and then we'll just put that over here possibly so pop that there well if it doesn't hang on hang on if i can't duplicate them i can never meet those demands that's a bit weird um and then what have we got got not much in the way of gold plenty of jewels and plenty of fish and even quite a lot of fabric you know what hang on let's go to town and let's grab i mean we need at least a couple more gracious chairs we need at least two of those, I'm fairly sure. Um, okay, we need three. So sell that one and sell that one away with those and put that one there and that one there. Okay, so that side is looking very good. We need one more gracious chair and that side will have the comfiest of all the seats, which will be wonderful. Okay, right. So I think with that done, we will finish up for now. I think we've done we've done pretty well today. We've moved things on very nicely. And yeah, in terms of, um, hang on a minute, in terms of our shrine, look at that. We've got one, two, three things to unlock and they will get done next time. Oh, there's the, um, there's the nature cat. Hello, nature cat. Cat Sith, how are you? Um, yeah, I mean, that's almost done, isn't it? So we're almost done with fantasy furniture. So then, yeah, it's just a case of fancy drinks, which is craft root beer and complex grape juice. <laughs> <laughs> see it's another way of saying wine um and then stew so they're both 2000 so yeah we'll get those done we'll get those done next time absolutely no problem at all and then i don't know what happens after that i imagine when we've done that 
that means that we've kind of restored the shrine because this whole research thing is done and that kind of cat the, the little sort of bush thing has turned into a sort of a cat figurine or something i don't know but it's not a bush anymore so i imagine when we complete these then something will happen will it be the end of the game Will there be further stuff to do? I have no idea. But whatever the case, we will see what happens next time out. Because, yeah, we'll get this done. Um, and then, of course, yeah, we do need to go and get some more stuff from the market. And we do need to try and keep sort of, you know, adding bits of furniture to make people happy and all that kind of stuff. But, yes, it's looking very, very good. So we'll finish up for now. Come back next time and see how we get on. And whether we could pick up any more exciting, slightly exotic and bizarre cats. Because that's very fun as well. But, yeah, we'll finish up for now. Hopefully you are still in enjoying this if you are please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in cat cafe manager but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time the city of cupboard it can be full of geeks very loyal geeks to me it's this sort of stripy hill that's interesting. Oh, Strappy Mountain. Sorry, I, I downgraded you to a hill. It really irritate the Norwegians. Everyone had gold. People were lying on beds of gold. They were eating gold. They were trying to wash their hair with gold. There was gold literally everywhere in our empire. <laughs>